Hi, this is Rebecca Delosier, and this video is going to teach you how you can create a video for your flipped classroom that includes both content and a webcam view of you actually doing the presenting. Um, this is frequently referred to as a talking head. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up QuickTime. Um, so I went to my launch pad and I'm clicking on QuickTime Player and I'm going to go to File and last time we went ahead and we did the screen recording. This time the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a new movie recording. Now when you do a talking head, wow that's big, that's too much. Um, I actually like to make my talking head as small as possible, that way I don't have to look at me. Um, Unfortunately, I have not figured out, and if any of you do figure it out, please let me know. I've not figured out how to get rid of this black bar. Um, so what I like to do is I just like to back up away from my screen a little bit. Um, so this uh, box is going to actually be our talking head. So you can see that I'm talking to you, and I'm a head in a box, so that's a talking head. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create a talking head presentation using um, Smart Notebook. You could just as easily do this using something else. It doesn't work really well um, with PowerPoint if you broadcast full screen. So if you want to do this using a PowerPoint presentation, you're going to want to not broadcast full screen. And I can show you how to do that with this one too. So I'm going to open up my notebook presentation and that just went over my face, but that's okay because you guys are learning how to do this too. Alright, so here's my smart notebook presentation. The first thing you'll notice is these pages are in the way. Luckily I have auto hide on, so if I click over here that should go away. So there's my presentation. Um, the easiest way to do a talking head is using QuickTime. Is you just go ahead and put your windows where you would like them to be and just record a little bit more of your screen than you're planning. I actually like to put this window down here at the bottom with the bar below my content and you'll see why in just a second. Basically I'm going to crop out that content so it doesn't show up in my video. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to file again in QuickTime. You have to make sure it still says QuickTime. It doesn't say Smart Notebook. So I'm in QuickTime. If it does say Smart Notebook, just click on your movie recording window. I'm going to go to New Screen Recording, and it will open up the separate bar. Um, and again, with the separate bar, just make sure your microphone is set to the correct microphone. Um, and again, you just want to make sure that that says Float on Top. That way that's there. Although I'm going to actually drag this completely off screen now. It doesn't matter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the, the button, the Screen Recording button, and it's going to say click to record the full screen. So if I click anywhere in there, it's going to go ahead and record the full screen. I don't want the full screen today. I actually am just going to record my smart notebook and part of my talking head. Not all of my talking head, just part of my talking head. Um, and then that's it. I'm just going to record that little bit. Um, and you could even put something else here. So if there was an assignment, like a view of an assignment, if it was a math class, if you wanted to put your calculator, if you had a little calculator app, you could put your calculator app there. Um, I will warn you, when you're actually doing this, it's really hard to look up at the camera, and you frequently will find yourself looking down, like I'm doing right now, and then it looks like you're asleep. But a lot of the kids really respond better if they can see your facial expressions. So if that works for your kids, then you might want to consider doing this. So I'm going to hit the smart the start recording button and I would just go ahead and I would start doing my um, my presentation just like normal. Like you, you would do anything um, in Smart Notebook and you like all your smart stuff works. Um, you just have to go ahead and you know, do exactly however you've got it set up, you got to go ahead and do that. And so you could go and you could write on this, and I'll show you how to do that in a later one. Right now, we'd want to type. Um, so you could go through your whole presentation. When you're done, you go back to where it says screen recording and you press the button to stop it. So this gives you your window. I'm going to minimize everything else and make this smaller. Now it's creepy because now there's two of me. So that's really bad. I'm, I'm going to make this one super, super, super small. That's as small as it goes. All right. I'll just layer on top of my face. That way I don't have to look at two of me. All right. There. That's better. All right. Now, if I click play here, you can see it goes through. 
Um, I have the sound muted on that so you don't see it. You can skip through all the way, blah, 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 blah. That's actually kind of funny. And then you have your video. And then again, when you're ready to, um, to save it, you just X out of it and you save it. And so this was um, my notes on experimental design. And you just save it. And I, again, I like to save mine um, as iPad notes and just save them to my desktop. Um, and again, you just upload them to wherever you're going to serve them. Sometimes on this, um, you get some weird cropping issues, uh, and you just have to tell it not to crop. If you are having issues with cropping or something like that, um, the best thing to do is probably actually just to, to send me the link if you have it posted already, or just to call me, and then I can show you how to do it um, individually, because that's really going to be a case-by-case -case basis, and you'll figure out kind of what works. I, I actually have only had that issue uh, twice in the past three years of screencasting, so I wouldn't stress out over that. Don't let it don't let that bother you. Here's the other thing, and this is kind of important, and I'm actually going to make this bigger so it actually you can actually see that I'm talking to you. All right, so screencasting and flipped classrooms. The first, I don't know, the first 20 times I made videos for my classes, I recorded the videos at least six times, and I recorded videos that were way too long. Don't record the videos over and over again. You don't stop a lecture and completely start a lecture over if you misspeak during class. You just correct yourself. Just correct yourself and move on. You don't have time to go ahead and record the videos over and over and over again. So just go ahead, record the videos, put your picture as small as you like, or if you don't want a picture, then just don't do the talking head, drag yourself off to the corner, and then just save it. The kids are used to your lecture style. They're going to be fine with you just having the notes online. That's it. If you have any questions, just let me know.